major, major energy shift in the divine masculine energy. And we need to talk about it. Stay tuned. Hello, my name is Mr. Lightwork. I'm the divine masculine of the channel. I'm here to provide divine masculine insight and perspective for your journey. I'm here with a divine masculine energy reading and then a divine masculine message to the divine feminine here from this pile. So make sure that you stay tuned to the end so you can hear what your divine masculine has to say to you. If you need more insight and understanding, you can always visit MrLightWork.com and grab anything that you need. Got phone calls where you can talk to a real divine masculine. Got divine masculine readings, divine feminine readings. I got video advice, everything you could need to get the information that you need and the messages that you need. All right. So I'm going to go here. Oh, this one was eager to get out. The Page of Pentacles. Huh. Okay. Let's leave that one like that. And then we'll grab two from this side. All right. Let's see what this Divine Masculine has to say. All right. Oh. <laughs> Ace of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. So it's almost as if already that the alignment is, is still where it needs to be. Okay. The Divine Masculine right now is being given an opportunity to set things right. There's been some stuff that is unresolved. There's been some stuff that's still up in the air. And the Divine Masculine right now is being given the opportunity to iron these things out. So there's nothing standing in the way of the of, of y'all being together and it being a easy not not even easy but enjoyable circumstance so there's no longer things standing in the way there's no blocks there's nothing else looming over it's like the other feeling like the other shoe's gonna drop no longer you don't have that feeling any longer because the divine masculine is aiming to take care of the things that have been making them feel so anxious and worried and like things are just going to fall apart at any time. So this is the opportunity that they're being given right now. And really it's asking the divine feminine to bless them with this time so that they can fix what's been standing in the way of y'all being together. So that's what the divine masculine is being blessed with right now. Okay. And let's see here. Ooh, yeah, there's so much happening in their energy. There's a lot that their mind is focused on. And this is why it's been so hard. This is why the the separation has been so intense between you is because they are dealing with a lot. They are dealing with 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 cycles, with projects, with patterns, with stuff that should have been handled a long time ago but in in their immaturity they have been sidestepping their responsibilities they've been playing when they should be working and now they're playing catch up so that's why they're they're being overwhelmed so the energy has shifted from them being scared to now being because because when I see this eight, I also get reminded of the eight of swords because that's usually what the divine masculine's energy is surrounded by fear. That's what, usually how they move out of fear, fear of not having fun, fear of commitment, fear of a whole bunch of things. So this is a level up. This is giving me a little heart flutter because it's saying that the divine masculine is no longer just ready to be manhandled. They're not okay with being manhandled by life anymore they want to make a stand and they want to make things good for them so that they can make things good for y'all this is in this is this is really really important because this is where the divine masculine is setting up a foundation for y'all in their own mind they have decided that okay this is what i want Here's what I got to do in order to get what I want. And they're realizing that it's a lot of stuff, but they're also not, they're not shying away from it anymore. They're seeing how much they have to do. And they're realizing that the more that they have to do and the more that they do, the better they'll become. The more 
improved as an individual they'll be, thereby preparing them for the union. So this is incredible energy right now that we have coming from the Divine Masculine. And this piggy piggybacks right here off of being given this opportunity to handle all that's been standing in the way of y'all two being together. Okay, this is wonderful news right here. All right, so now I've got a message, channel message from the Divine Masculine coming up towards the Divine Feminine. <clears throat> all right, here we go, get ready. Hey, I hope this message finds you well. I appreciate you taking the time to hear my thoughts. There's something I need to share with you and I'm going to be completely transparent. Lately, I've been doing some soul searching, reflecting on my life and where my priorities lie. Now, this isn't going to be an easy conversation to have, but I believe that I need to start being honest, even if it hurts. I feel a strong pull to refocus my energy on matters that hit close to home, my family. These are things and issues that require my attention and I can't, I can't ignore them anymore. I want to be there to fix anything that is still lingering. But not only that, I want to do that so that the bonds between us can, can grow. And navigating this path, I'm going to, I'm going to retreat. I'm going to find comfort in places that feel familiar. This isn't, this isn't an escape from our relationship, from, from us, but it's, it's a moment to gather my thoughts and to better understand the role that I play in our shared journey. Listen, I wanna assure you that this isn't about seeking solace elsewhere or diminishing our connection in any way. It's about recognizing the importance of handling these issues and taking the necessary steps to ensure that the foundation we build is solid and enduring. I understand. This might be a lot to take in. I just need you to know I'm around and that if you wanna talk about it, we can. I need you to know that your understanding and support mean the world to me as we navigate this juncture together. I'll do my best to make it as swift as possible. I hate being away from you, but I hate being unprepared for you. So I'm gonna fix that so that when we're together, nothing else stands in our way and it'll be full of peace, laughter, and joy. Sincerely yours. <laughs>